Are you watching closely? Somewhere I am. I think this is dream or maybe not. Oh god, what I did? This is my room. I feel it's just first time here. For apps, I was being staying for four years. At ten, you have appointment, Doctor Surya. So, it's hard to explain about my condition and what I am going through. I'm here to help you. When you help me by telling about your condition and present situation, how you feel and what's your story. How I feel. How I feel. How I feel. I'm gonna kill you, asshole. I'm gonna kill you. You made a mistake. Sometimes I feel alone. The main thing is, I really don't know how my day started. I always feel that I am in the center of the story, which I forgot its beginning, and I don't know what will be the end of it. It's interesting. Continue, please. I'm staring at someone. I think it's me, and I take pills, which I took from my friend, and sleep. Then the time ticks back and some weird things happen to me. I went down and came up with full beard and then Yeah! yeah! You fucking idiot. You screwed my life. I am going to kill you asshole. I am going to kill you. You made a mistake. I am going to kill you. I go back and take the pills every day and taking the pills caused me some traumatic disturbance looking around at some strangers i feel like they are coming to kill me Hunting me down every single day. I used to get sleep more, and particularly, I get the same dream every time I sleep. Okay, tell me about your dream. I am the writer in the story. I am trying hard to explain the story. to my co-writers which was written by me my point is when we start dreaming in dream we don't know what will be the starting point and what's going to be the ending of it but it's different here not knowing of his own existing reality in present time causes him to some kind of trauma the whole story dwells in his dimension which does not have a starting point wait How can a story be not having its starting point? Yeah, that's my point. See, every flashback and memory is a falling reality. The story is to find its reality, which is stuck under the flashback memories. So you get dreams, traumatized, and you are confused with your reality. Yeah, maybe I feel the dream is true. 
she is beautiful sitting in front of me listening my words did you love her truly yeah that's my point what about her did she love you truly yeah for long time maybe i thought i was in love with her so what's the difference between thinking you are in love and actually being in love i thought i know her very well but i don't know what love was still i don't she had cancer died recently i completely lost hope on love because of her she broke my trust tear my heart into pieces from that incident i lost belief in love you don't know what is love but you are confident you say that it's a lie okay maybe not a lie maybe like a fantasy when you see people for who they really are the fantasy goes away and then so does the love so love is just some idol which means that no one ever can truly love anyone else more than they love themselves it does not matter what i think because i am tired of the static behavior what do you think i think i wonder if you do believe in love then you love so fiercely but it hurts sometimes and you are afraid of that hurt if you love someone you are going to lose them sometimes somehow yeah quite possibly but we love anyway don't we okay so what exactly do you believe in i believe we are all alone and that no one can save us but ourselves yeah true but you would have understand her better the poor thing is she loved you so much that you did not understand her love what do you mean so this is your 10th episode is there any improvements are you still feel the same disturbance in your mind no i still feel the same things in my mind i really don't know what's going on in my life i have tested for cancer now it's in the last stage don't be upset i am there to help you not everyone dies from cancer only the weakest will lose hope you are strong let your positive energy of will power flow in you just make it flow and never lose hope cause hope is chance chance is change and that change is life nothing gonna work now doctor just nothing even never hope theory at last hopes are just words and i realize that in my life there is a then and there is a now but nothing between the two but a long silent emptiness that has let me here to you in this cabin i can understand your problems but the truth is ever accomplished anything meaningful in life the thing is nobody is normal in life just close your eyes and focus on my voice what do you love most in life my love the precious thing the most astounding and wonderful feel his smile makes my mood boost i feel i am the lucky and happiest person in the world when i was with him okay write the letter let him know how much you loved him and wanted to be with him and i came to your house to give you this but you did not answer my call i used to blame myself that not to fulfill her last wish please i really don't want to give this him i hope you are the best one to give him i hope my last hope will not fail me please will you i'm sure your last hope will never fail thank you this is his address take this and read you will understand the truth behind of her silence my dear love i know you are hurt 
right now you feel like you can never love again now all i ask is what a chance to prove myself that i love you you are my everything the day i saw you was the best thing ever happened in my life i know the things you are going through now memories they may good or bad they will stay within us and we have to carry them lifelong but you have to overcome you have to let me go please i love you i know you are suffering now i completely understand your condition the things you are going through is not real it's all stuck here you are past present and over thinking of future and you forgot your existence in reality you have a bright future ahead you have to live and lead your life go search for your reality and wake it up by killing it i love you more than my life don't love anything more than life i miss you i know see this the world is waiting for your story i want to live and prove myself then die Every flashback and memories have a following reality. Basically, it all takes place in the hippocampus. Nerve connections are formed. The senses make the neurons express signals that go right back to the brain. As before, where memories are stored, it's something called relational memory. Human brain works in mysterious way that even we wonder ourselves to believe. we sleep and get dreams in dreams we always experience the off center story we don't know its beginning and what will be the ending of it but we remember the dream and experience it so the suffering overthinking are all part of life we forgot to enjoy our reality yeah please take your seat reality is what we live we have to let go the bad memories and leave this moment hi this is dr surya this is jason roy and this is my story